A bill named in honor of a Yakima four-year-old who disappeared last year is now Washington law. We have coverage from the state capitol. Plus, progress on an effort to bring an addiction and mental health treatment center to the Tri-Cities. We're checking on where the progress is right now and what you can expect to see in the next few months. And a wild week of weather is ahead with heat, rain, wind, and cold. I'll get you and your family prepared in my first alert weather forecast. Now, Cap gave you local news special edition. Good afternoon. I'm <laughs> Alyssa Warner. And I'm Jason Valentine. Thank you for joining us on this Monday. We're, of course, here because American Idol will be live <laughs> at the top of the hour. Well, we begin with a big announcement from the state capitol. Washington Governor Jay Inslee says he will not run for a fourth term. Inslee is the only, uh, only the second Washington governor to win a third term in a row, and he announced this morning he's ready to pass the torch. But I do think there's a season, you know, to everything there's a season. And the season right now, I think, is uh, having a first term, maybe uh, more important than having a fourth term. And so I think some of that change is, is a good thing. Inslee says he is ready to take the next year and a half and focus on homelessness and expanding behavioral health services. That announcement just coming hours before Governor Inslee signed a bill that we've been tracking closely here at Cap View. Yeah, this law directs Attorney General Bob Ferguson to create a dedicated page for information about how to call, how to file a missing persons report, and other resources for families. And Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us having that information in one place might not seem like a lot, but this has been a long time coming, especially for Indigenous families. I've covered dozens of cases where people have gone missing or have been murdered, and not one of those families ever thought they would be getting that call. And in the minutes after, when they were scrambling and panicking, trying to figure out what to do, every one of those seconds was a second that their loved one was getting further and further away. A lack of information or communication from law enforcement or about the system they're supposed to navigate is also one of the biggest barriers for families on the Yakima Reservation who have to struggle to figure out whether the city, county, state, federal or tribal police have jurisdiction. It's an epidemic with murder being the third leading cause of death for Native women and with more than 40 Indigenous people missing in Yakima County alone. Since many families are unaware of how to file a missing person report, this tool will educate them on what resources they can use. Having access to that information eliminates barriers for families who find themselves in the unimaginable position of having a loved one go missing. And as someone who frequently is speaking to those family members who are desperately searching for answers, I'm glad that I will finally have a way to get them at least some of those answers. Reporting in Olympia, Emily Goodell, Cap View, Local News. Thanks, Emily. And just some context here, state lawmakers invited Emily to the Capitol today for the signing because of her diligent coverage of the Lucian Munguia case. For the first week and a half that Lucian was missing, Cap KVU's Emily Goodell was there every day with Lucian's family, with law enforcement, and when they left, leaving the family to fend for themselves. Her investigation into the police department's claim that they had video of Lucian uncovered the fact that that claim was not true. Representative Gina Mossbrooker says she personally invited Goodell to be part of the signing because she continued to work to keep Lucian's case at the forefront of the headlines. Jason, this is something we've just been all over the place with. Yes, yes, and uh, well done, Emily, and getting yes. to be there for that. So I know she's very pleased about that. So congrats to her, and that was quite the weekend. Yes, it was beautiful here, and then it got cold this morning. Then it got cold, and we're going to warm up. And then cool back down as we get to our next weekend. It's, it's a, a bit all over the place. Let's take a look outside at our Dust Devils Giza Stadium Sky Cam. And we're starting to see a little bit less cloud coverage as we're moving along in our day. But still plenty of clouds throughout our areas. We also had shower activity rumbling through mostly the, uh, the Yakima Valley and Kittitas Valley areas. Those have moved on, though. We could see another shower system come through tonight for Yakima and Ellensburg. So we're going to be warming up. In our next 24 hours, we're going to get back to the lower 80s, upper 70s by tomorrow. And we don't expect too much wind. We saw a little bit of wind today. So as we move along in our day, 61, much cooler than it was all over your weekend. We're going to warm up tomorrow, but then we're going to be cooling down by quite a bit as we get to Friday and our next weekend. So don't plan on another beautiful weekend ahead. Folks, I'll get you ready for that. And what's Coming up for the rest of your work week, some warmer temperatures. That's my forecast coming right up.
Well, we've talked about how cold and potentially dangerous local waterways are as the snow is melting and it's sending a surge of water downstream. The Umatilla County Sheriff's Office says a 46 year old Milton Freewater man was hiking with a friend along the South Fork of the Walla Walla River in the Harris Park area this weekend when he tried to cross and got swept away and that man did not survive. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly crash that happened on North Glade Road just south of Klamath Saturday. According to the Sheriff's Office, it involved just one car. 25-year-old Adrian Flores was thrown from the vehicle and died at the scene. Two other passengers and the driver survived. The 25-year-old driver has been arrested. He is suspected of speeding while driving under the influence. The crash is still under investigation. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we have an update on the future Tri-Cities Behavioral Health Recovery Center. Yeah, our Madeline Hagen tells us who will be in charge of providing services for those in need. Benton County calling it an exciting and important move for the future of the recovery center. Last week, county commissioners officially gave the award for the provider who will give services out of this building. Comprehensive health care based out of Yakima with locations across the region will be the provider for the recovery center. Comprehensive has multiple inpatient facilities and years of experience. They're already the crisis response team designated for Benton and Franklin counties. The county says Comprehensive will play a vital role in the design and renovation of the old KGH building and the inpatient care center. The county is going to work with Comprehensive to make sure any renovations meet their needs so they can meet the needs of the county in a beneficial way. Also on the county side, we're going to be working on an RFP over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll have that out by the end of May and then we can get a design team in place. The county says they hope to have a design finalized by August with construction starting by the end of this year. And in the recently passed state budget, $5 million was allocated for the long-term care facility that is separate than this building. Reporting in Kennewick for Cap KV Local News, I'm Madeline Hagan. Well, 24 local immigrants became, U became U.S. citizens today. This all took place at the United States Courthouse and Federal Building in Richland. They came from nine different countries, Mexico, Morocco, Nepal, Italy, Guatemala, Ukraine, Myanmar, Pakistan, and Colombia. There were several organizations, including the local auditor's office and the Washington League of Women Voters present to register the new citizens to vote. United States District Court Judge Edward F. Shea says it was one of the most important things they could do. You can do many things to make it your country. Voting is a critical part of making it your country. Let your vote be your voice. You can be heard no matter who you are by voting. And when you vote, you affect the democracy in this country. These new citizens were given an American flag pin from the Sons of the American Revolution, and there was a reception after the ceremony. Making headlines across America, another bank has failed, replacing Silicon Valley Bank as the second biggest bank failure in American history. Federal regulators took over First Republic Bank early this morning, then immediately turned around and sold it to J.P. Morgan Chase. First Republic, like Silicon Valley Bank, had a lot of deposits that weren't fully insured, and a lot of its clients started pulling their money back in March when two other mid-sized banks collapsed. Now, you might be wondering why J.P. Morgan Chase didn't just buy First Republic before it ran into trouble. Well, this is because J.P. Morgan Chase is a huge bank. It's the largest in the country, and it wouldn't normally have been allowed to take over another bank of this size. Today, President Biden praised the takeover since it means taxpayers won't be left with a bill for another banking collapse, but he also said it's time for new regulations. I've called on Congress to give regulators the tools to hold bank executives accountable, and I've called on regulators to strengthen regulations and supervision of large and regional banks. And folks, uh, we have to make sure that we're not back in this position again. The Fed admitted in a report last week that it should have stepped in earlier on the two banks that collapsed in March. Fast rising interest rates, also at the hands of the Fed, are blamed for contributing to all three of these banks losing money in the lead up to their collapse. The Fed will meet this week to determine if they should raise rates again as they continue to try to bring down inflation. American Airlines pilots have voted to authorize a strike. Earlier, earlier this year, Delta Airlines agreed a deal with pilots, giving them a 34% raise over the course of a four-year contract. 
Now pilots at American and United are looking for similar terms. American airline pilots picketed today. This is different than actually going on strike, which they cannot legally do at this point, but pilots say it does send a message. We want a contract, we want it now. Our pastors want reliability in their schedules, just like we want re reliability in our schedules. When I show up to work, I want to go do my trip, and when I'm done, I want to go home. I don't want to be stretched out for days on end. I don't want to have my flights canceled. I don't want to be reassigned. I don't want to end up in places I didn't sign up for. American Airlines says it's confident it can work out a deal with the pilots if those negotiations do break down and if the National Mediation Board can't uh, help them come to an agreement, then the countdown to an actual strike could begin. Now, those safeguards don't impact the Writers Guild of America. They voted last month to go on strike, and now time is running out. Yeah, the last Writers Guild strike happened more than a decade ago, all the way back in 2007. But it lasted more than three months, stretching into 2008. Now, Deadline reports if the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers can't come to an agreement with the Writers Guild by midnight, late night talk shows will be the first to see the impact, followed by soap operas. And then everything else. The last strike was blamed for an estimated $2 billion in economic damage. And of course, Jason, we lost so much good TV at that time. Uh, we did. And think of it, we're just kind of recovering from the pandemic. We mm -hmm. actually have a full movie schedule this year. Well, that will be impacted by this. The fall schedule will be impacted. So come to an agreement, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Quick look outside, everyone. Folks, a rickety start to the week after a wonderful weekend but we have heat on the way but cooler temperatures too i'll get you updated my forecast coming up next and still ahead on this special edition of cap kv local news we are tracking the search for a person reportedly in the united states illegally who's accused of killing five people in a small texas town we'll hear from one of the survivors next Weekdays at 11, after the view. You've got a date with Access Daily. Food, self-improvement, and of course, fun. You don't know this. Then at noon, ABC's GMA3. You've got a date with Access Daily, weekdays at 11, after the view, right here on Cap KVU. Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bath Fitter can do it all. We will remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom-crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state-of-the-art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom-made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bath Fitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. What would you do if you had a broken bone? You'd go to the doctor and use your insurance, right? What would you do if you had a serious problem with drugs and alcohol? Most people do nothing until it's too late. Your insurance can help you get clean and sober with the assistance of a place like the Detox and Treatment Helpline. Many times treatment is fully covered, so why not use your insurance to treat your addiction problem just like you would if you had a broken bone? And with the Family Medical Leave Act, you're allowed by law to take off time from work and your employer doesn't need to know the reason. So there are two good reasons. You've got insurance you can use for your addiction problem. And with the Family Medical Leave Act, it's completely confidential. Call us right now and save a life. 800-795-1262. 800-795-1262. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blend a shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. American Idol on ABC. Tonight at 5 and 8 on ABC Cap KVU. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial House Dermatology Center in Benton City. Take flight over a museum of trains on Fly the Northwest Tuesday. Welcome back. We are tracking developing news from Texas, where investigators are searching for a 38-year-old man who is accused in a deadly mass shooting. All of the... Uh, victims reportedly the man's neighbors. Police say the suspect could be considered armed and dangerous. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest. 
The massive manhunt for Francisco Oropesa, the man who authorities say shot and killed five of his neighbors, almost execution style, now in its third day with hundreds of officers combing the streets of Cleveland, Texas. Today, law enforcement searched this recycling center after they say they got a tip about a person that matched the description of Francisco Oropesa, who was last seen in that area. Authorities have been looking for him since Friday. We do not know where he is. We don't have any tips right now to where he may be. Authorities say Oropesa was firing his AR-15 style rifle for fun in his yard on Friday night when a next door neighbor asked him to stop because a newborn was trying to sleep. Well, the suspect then follows the neighbor home, police say, barges inside and fires. Wilson Garcia was there and managed to escape. He says he came back and shot everyone in the head. He didn't want witnesses. When he saw us running and couldn't get to us, he went back to kill them. Five of the 10 people inside were killed. Diana Velasquez Alvarado, Julissa Molina Rivera, Jose Jonathan Casares, Garcia's wife, Sonia Argentina Guzman, and stepson, third grader Daniel Enrique Lazo, among those killed. No tengo palabras como... Garcia says, I don't have words to describe what happened. It's like we're alive, but not living. What happened was really horrible. Officials say all five victims are from Honduras, while the suspect, on the other hand, is a Mexican national. Now, a source familiar with the investigation tells ABC News that Oropesa was previously deported on four occasions, an $80,000 reward now being offered for information that leads to his arrest. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Just an awful story. Well, the governor of Texas is offering a $50,000 reward for tips that lead to the suspect's arrest. The Supreme Court says it will hear a case that has to do with government employees on board fishing boats, but this could have a much broader impact. So in 1984, with the Chevron decision, the Supreme Court ruled that all federal agencies, like the EPA, for example, should be allowed to basically fill in the blanks if federal law isn't completely clear. Today, commercial fishermen have to pay for a government monitor that sails with them to make sure they're following regulations. They're saying that's not fair. So if the justices decide to overturn the Chevron decision, that would take away a lot of flexibility from federal agencies regulating everything from health and education to immigration and the environment. Now, Cap Cave you First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. A wonderful day today, and we're starting to see a little bit more sunshine than we saw really all day today. And uh, kind of calming down as we're moving into our evening hour. So impacting you, we have this cool start to the week, a warm middle of the week, and then wet, windy, cool on Friday and into our weekend. So a little bit of everything is on the way this week. So Skywatch Radar, we had some shower activity rumbling through Yakima and Ellensburg areas and Prosser as well. Hermiston, that has moved on into the northwest, and we do expect that to continue. We could see a little bit of shower activity, but our big picture is we are seeing a system coming in from the south which is very rare but we have this upper level system that is moving into the southern part of California and moving into our area so this is going to be for tomorrow it's not really bringing any precipitation to our regions but it's bringing those warmer temperatures that we're going to be seeing tomorrow but then we're going to see a complete shift as we move into the latter part of our week as we start to cool back down to really it's going to make today look warm so as we move into our future cast we do see some some shower activity just to the south. These are some heavy cells, folks. We could see some thunder and lightning in the mountains there, and it's just on the periphery of Toppenish and Yakima. Could be going through uh, late today, even or right around uh, midnight. That'll move off pretty darn quickly. And as we move into tomorrow, a little bit more clouds moving into our areas. And again, shower activity all around us until we get to Wednesday evening when we do have a little bit of shower activity coming in. Again, it is coming from the south. This is very odd for our weather systems. It it usually comes in from the Pacific. So we are seeing that system continue and it's bringing a few bits of showers, even Fiacom on Ellensburg on the evening and maybe a little bit more on Thursday. So some scattered showers expected in our PM hours for Wednesday. So folks, just a little of everything. We're in the lower 70s to mid to upper 60s for most of our areas, 53 
for Ellensburg. And as I say, when we're close, you can tell it's a solid uh, weather system that we're in, very calm down. But right now, this is very uh, all over the place and very schizophrenic as we move along in our week. So 82 tomorrow, 88 by Wednesday, and then we see this cool down from Thursday to Friday for the Tri-Cities, 20 degree drop. That is um, unbelievable for uh, two days in a row. So do get ready for those cooler temperatures. Then we'll level off for our weekend. So we have seen a little bit of wind today, some double digits out there. We do expect winds to slow down as we move into tomorrow and then pick up to Friday, especially 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. So again, for Friday, it is going to be cooler and blustery and wet. So as we look at tonight, we're staying warm, mid to upper 40s, lower 50s. Again, some shower activity possible, Yakima, Ellensburg. As as we get into tomorrow, lower 80s, maybe upper 70s for the Blue Mountain region. More sunshine than we saw today and warmer. And then we'll continue to warm up into our Wednesday. But then we cool down 84 Thursday and then boom, down to 64 on Friday. We'll remain in the lower 70s to upper 60s into our next work week. So don't leave those spring jackets just yet. In Yakima, mid 80s through Thursday, 65 on Friday, and we remain in those mid 60s as we head into our weekend. So folks, we are warming up tomorrow, much nicer conditions tomorrow. We really have a nice Tuesday through Thursday, but everything changes with those winds, wet conditions, and cooler temperatures by the time we get to Friday, and we won't recover for your weekend. Thanks, Jason. And up next on Cap KV News, the Kraken are making history. We're celebrating a big win in the Stanley Cup playoffs. That is next. Live with Kelly and Mark, weekday mornings at 9 on Cap KV. This is the most talented class we have ever had. American Idol goes live, coast to coast. It's time to shine. Just watch me what this show is all about. American Idol, live tonight on ABC. It's the Great Northwest RV Show, this Wednesday through Sunday, only at the Happo Center. See big with special show pricing on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. All of your favorite brands under one roof. Tiffin, Newmar, Rockwood, Grand Design, and more. Hundreds of new and used RVs to choose from. Get ready for spring adventures now. Don't miss the Great Northwest RV Show, Wednesday through Sunday at the Happo Center on Burton Boulevard. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. Do you have any land that gets no use? Save some money by using an American-made power racking system. It's a more cost-effective option than a standard pole and concrete method. Invest in green energy with the pros at Solar Power Northwest. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2023 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but Basic. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Get a low $3.99 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. When it comes to floors, quality matters, period. Quality is what makes the difference in floors, and it's what you can expect from the best products Empire today carries. Quality is stain and soil technology to help protect your floors from everyday accidents. Quality is water resistance, where and when you need it most. It's a durable finish that keeps scratches from leaving lasting damage. It's floors that are manufactured in America, keeping jobs close to home. Quality is knowing your floors are made by some of the best flooring brands in the world. And when life happens, quality is having peace of mind that your floors are backed by some of the best warranties around. If an issue does arise, just call us. We service all warranties ourselves so you can avoid the hassle of having to track down the manufacturer. Knowing Empire handpicks long-lasting and durable products is what makes getting new floors easy. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. Welcome back, everyone. Well, the Seattle Kraken have kicked the defending Stanley Cup champions right out of the playoffs. My goodness, Game 7 in Colorado last night was do or die, and this win was as amazing as it sounds. 
It's the first time an NHL expansion team has eliminated the defending champion in their playoff debut. But there's not much of a break for the Kraken. They're headed to Texas for a second round playoff matchup against the Dallas Stars tomorrow. And it's amazing. The Boston Bruins made it into the playoffs with the best regular season ever. They lost their first first round uh, division uh, uh, playoff system as well. So it's wide open. It's exciting to watch. All right, we'll be right back. Portion of Cap KB sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. With Furniture Row employee pricing, you pay what we pay. Right now, our employee pricing is available to everyone. Get 15% off any single item when you spend $9.99 or more, plus four years no interest financing. But hurry, employee pricing at Furniture Row ends soon. Steps to a brighter future with Merit Resource Services. When you are in need of substance abuse disorder treatment and your burdens are too much to bear alone, Merit will help. Our experienced and certified staff offer support recovery for all in need by providing access to quality assessment, education, integrated treatment services, and co-occurring services for substance abuse and behavioral health needs. Merit Resource Services, where we believe in recovery for all. The Silver Jubilee 25th Anniversary Celebration continues at Legends Casino Hotel in May. With over $225,000 in cash and prizes being given away, we've got one Mercedes left, so use your players' cards to earn entries for cash drawings on Thursdays and a Mercedes GLE on May 25th. Play your favorite slots for a chance at one of 25 cash prizes, totaling over $200,000 on May 31st. It's an anniversary celebration like no other, only at Legends Casino Hotel, within winning distance. Join us at Giza Stadium on May 17th for the second annual Salute to Seniors. At 12.30, enjoy an all-you-can-eat and drink buffet before catching the Dust Devils action at 1.30. Don't miss out on this fun-filled day celebrating our beloved seniors. It's spring, when weather can change fast. Just another reason to trust Kepkeview First Alert Weather. To make sure changing weather doesn't ruin your plans, don't miss my forecast. First Alert Weather from Kepkeview Local News, helping keep you and your family safe. Coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, we'll tell you about the 24 local immigrants becoming American citizens and how the occasion was celebrated. Plus, it's a cool start to the week, but we're in for another warm-up. Riley Fitzgerald will have the details tomorrow morning. There's work in you. And then there's chill you. Chill you is more carefree and curious, more present, more relaxed, more fun. Chill you is the best you. There you are. Bring back your chill you with an escape to Coeur d'Alene, the city by the lake. Win a dream giveaway at CDA4.fun. Jay Leno. Are you guys ready to play your bet your life? Yeehaw! You bet your life. The wife is due? Yes. yes. Well, thanks for coming by the yeah. show. <laughs> you crush watermelon. Between my legs. You bet your life. Can't go wrong. Weekdays at 2 on Cap KVU. With employee pricing at Denver Mattress, you pay what we pay. Get 15% off any single Denver Mattress brand product when you spend $9.99 or more. Plus, four years no interest and free shipping. Hurry! Employee pricing at Denver Mattress ends soon. Welcome back. We got a beautiful weekend, but Jason, yes. I hope everybody got their yard work done because it kind of changed. 100% and don't expect to do it this weekend, especially on Friday. But for today, we're going to be improving. We're already starting to improve. As we get into tomorrow, we're going to be in the lower 80s to upper 70s. The shower activity is starting to move past. We do expect to see a little bit of shower activity, most likely around 11 to midnight as we get into Yakima and Ellensburg. So for tomorrow, just get ready for things to settle down. A much nicer day ahead, mid to lower 80s for tomorrow. Should be nice. Looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, thanks for joining us. Cap KV Local News is back tonight at 7.